Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of Conspiracies and Stereotypes. Today I actually wanted to talk about that stereotype of um, the individual living in their parents' basement. Now, many people know about this stereotype, and the stereotype presents an idea, of, I guess for those who don't know, those who for some weird reason haven't heard of it, it presents the idea of an individual living in their parents' basement long into their 40s, 50s, 60s, um, and all they're ever doing is sitting in like this extremely big relaxing chair, either watching TV or playing video games, or re like just doing some kind of hobby where all they have to do is sit back and chillax. Like many stereotypes, this stereotype is bullcrap. And, I mean, sure there are some individuals out there who probably do end up doing this, but the thing is, the stereotype says that they, the person does it for absolutely no reason, that they're just lazy, they don't bother to go out and get a job, or they don't want to, or... There are several circumstances that the stereotype presents, and all of these circumstances are ridiculous, dumb, and illogical, and don't make any sense. Now, I'm going to say that, I'm going to make that kind of claim about almost every single stereotype out there. Because the stereotype, there admittedly are some individuals who actually follow stereotypes. And if there are some who follow this one, come on. Come on. However, for the most part, these stereotypes, like this one, are bullcrap. This one specifically, I can give examples of why this one would be bullcrap. First of all, what if you're just, especially nowadays, in the United States specifically, because this is kind of where the stereotype cores. The U.S., like a lot of stereotypes. Nowadays, I mean, there's so much, so many financial issues that there have been news reports of people just trying their hardest to work, trying their hardest to do whatever they can. They end up on the streets homeless anyway. And this, these are hardworking individuals as well, mind you. These are not people who are lazy. These are not people who do nothing. These are people who are hardworking and somehow, because of how bad the finances and the taxes and all that are and how little are the leadership cares, these individuals end up on the streets for absolutely no reason. Now, obviously, this doesn't happen to everyone. But even still, the fact that people have to work so tediously and ridiculously hard to be able to live under a roof is extremely stupid. But that's a discussion for a different day. But it does make a point. It's a comparison point. The stereotype claims that those who live in the parents' basement do the complete opposite the, and the thing is they have a roof they have some kind of roof they're living under so that can't be it it can't be that they're doing nothing although bear in mind this stereotype is about as old as the 70s and 80s I believe maybe the 60s um, but so it doesn't apply to every aspect and this kind of aspect of financial problems they don't last forever they last I think the longest they've lasted in the history, a couple years, maybe, maybe a few years, three or four years at most, I think. I, I might be wrong on this, so don't quote me on it, but, and this is anywhere. This is not just the U.S., this is anywhere. Uh, so, I don't know. If I'm wrong, go ahead and correct me in the comments below. I might be inaccurate on this. Um, don't quote me, but you're more than welcome to correct me if I am wrong. But I digress. Either way around, it still proves that that claim that, those who are living in their parents' basement, they're doing nothing, is bull. It's ridiculous. It makes no sense. Usually there's a reason. Now, once again, 
bear in mind, there is that handful of individuals that actually do follow the stereotype. For those individuals, shame. But it's such a small fraction that that's why I call bull on the actual stereotype. Because in reality, there's always some reason. I don't know. Hypothetically, take me, for example. Say at some point I ended up living in my parents' basement. I guarantee you this. It would be to save money. Simple as that. And, I mean, like I said, as of this recording, it's very difficult to financially support. Obviously, I'm successfully doing it as of right now. Admittedly, I'm hanging by a thread, but that is not the point of this video. I don't know, hypothetically say I do end up doing that, which probably will end up happening admittedly, but that's future reference thing. The point is, the fact that people would just look at that and say, oh, look, they're living in their parents' basement, they must be lazy. You're too stuck in the idea of... If you think that, you're too stuck in the mindset of stereotypes rule all. They mean everything. They describe everything, which is not even remotely true. For this particular one, since we're talking about this one, uh, let me go off of a different path. I don't know. Part of that stereotype, once again, is that they're in the basement, yes, but they're also always watching TV doing nothing, or playing video games or doing nothing, or, I don't know, reading a book doing nothing. It's all and Those three seem to be the top three thing, circumstances. Doing nothing is always part of it, but no feasible parent would allow that. If a parent is going to allow uh, anybody who they don't have to take care of anymore live with them, they are going to have set requirements, like have a job. I mean, I'll put myself back into the spotlight for this since I'm the one talking about this. Hypothetically, it did, which will probably happen at some point, I probably would end up living in a, it's like a basement apartment, by the way. It's a really nice one, too. But if I did end up doing that, it'd be a requirement for me to have a job and help pay for the place. At least have a job, if anything. And that's fine. But the idea that anybody would think that's, that people would just sit there and do nothing and the parent would be okay with that is ridiculous. No logical parent would allow that nowadays. Bear mind, bear you in mind, this stereotype comes from a point in time where parents didn't, didn't care. If it happened, there, are some, there were some parents in the world who were just like, whatever. I give up on them, just let them do whatever. Nowadays, that, the, I, the p people who would do that is so little that that stereotype is pretty much just flawed. Extremely flawed. Once again, though, every stereotype is flawed. Every single one of them. And if a large amount of people are are under the category that describes it, that's just because they believe stereotypes should define a person. I don't think that. I think it's ridiculous that people would think that. But once again, circling back to this particular stereotype, I guess the reason I thought of it in the first place is because the idea of living in a parent's basement for a bit specifically for me, for me, it would be to help me accumulate money to be able to live somewhere else, especially given rough times as it is right now for a lot of people. Now, my parents live in a very nice home. It's because my dad's an accountant and he gets paid well more than enough to be able to live there. Me? I can't afford that right now. All I can afford is what I got. So... I figured in a near future, it probably would be wise for me to just live there until I've accumulated enough to be able to go out and once again live on my own. But that nicks another problem in the stereotype claim. The stereotype says that it all, they're always in the parents' basement, have been for the past quote unquote like 30, 40, 50 years, haven't come out of it at all. That's the definition of an obsessive addict. That is what an obsessive addict does. I only know this because admittedly I used to be an addict. 
I don't know if it was obsessively, like to an obsessive degree. Others would know, but I, I can't. I don't have the right to say whether it was the case or not. But I know for a fact that the stereotype defines someone who's addicted, someone who's obsessed with certain things to an addiction kind of point, and. That idea, the fact that that idea defines anybody who lives in a parent's basement, is just completely flawed. My brother and my sister, for example, they did the same thing that I'm about to do, most likely. Stayed there and accumulated a bunch of money till they were able to live on their own. And right now they are. They're living in an apartment complex. It's a, it's a bit of ways from where I am, but it's in the same area, general area. It's the same... Uh, county, same United States state. It's s same general area, but it's a bit away from here. Um, but the only reason they were able to do that is by living there. The fact that people think that living in a parent's basement is just laziness is retarded. And I don't use that word very often because I don't like the term, but it really is. The fact that the stereotype itself claims that you shouldn't live in a parent's basement once you move out, period, is stupid. It's basically saying, oh, if you live there, you're lazy. Bull freaking crap. If you ever think that, you're, you have some kind of vendetta towards people who actually do that. Like some kind of grudge or you're jealous to some kind of degree. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But this is, like from, from what I said about the stereotypes, this does not apply to everyone. If you believe that, that doesn't particularly mean you do have those factors. It could also mean that you just believe too much in stereotypes, which unfortunately nowadays is growing more and more in individuals. And I'm not going to give any other example than this, but I have come across several, tens and tens of people who believe stereotypes are the thing. They are realistic. They're not. Bull crap. Because the reason I say that, though, is because I, the people I've approached, for the most part, not every single one of them, but a lot of the people I've approached who think this, I've asked, okay, Give me an example of a person who falls under that stereotype, the very specific one I'm talking about today. Give me an example on that person, a person who follows the stereotype to the dot. And examples were given, but every single example that was given, I was like, that doesn't count because blank was going on. And I gave the one example of what could be going on. Financial gain. How about this? What if the person can't live on their own? And not because of finances, because of medical or mental circumstances. In that front, duh, they have to live there because it's not like they can go take care of themselves on their own. It, it, they don't have the physical, they don't have the motor capabilities, or they don't have the physical or mental capabilities. On that front, duh. But, you know, instead of people who believe in these stereotypes thinking, Oh, you know what? This could be the case. You know what they're thinking? They're thinking they're lazy. They're still living there. They're lazy. It's a problem I feel like too many people have. Bear in mind, the world is filled with 7.1 billion people. Of course not everyone thinks this. In fact, I'm pretty sure most people don't. However, it's still a large handful of the 7.1 billion who do believe stereotypes are realistic especially ones like this one. And it's sad. It's very, very sad that people would think that. No, I don't... It's, it's under the same concept of the idea that people believe what they see on the internet or they believe what they see on TV. Not everything is true under that front. Because if they believe all that, you could literally... People like that... I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but it just shows gu gullibility how gullible some people can be. And the reason I say this is because the internet, for example, yes, showcases individuals who are like this, but they're characters. They're not real life people. Let me, for example, 
Um, I only know this reference because it's something my sister used to watch a lot. And I had to look up a circumstance, and this is one of the first things I found because it was well-known back in the day. Uh, the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, obviously this is more of a female kind of thing. But it, it has a good example of this. There's, in fact, there are several circumstances where I could give the same example anyway of an individual who coops himself up in their room all the time it turns out they're just a fan either boy or girl who's obsessed with the topic so they coop themselves up in the room this is the stereotype we're talking about but guess what every single time that this stereotype is brought up it's a character from a fictional story the sad part is it happens so often the characters are presented so often that people start to believe it's fact. And I don't know how to feel about it. It's just pathetic and sad. Now, bear in mind, like I said, a lot of people don't believe this. A lot of people, for this specific stereotype, almost everyone doesn't believe this. Because a lot of people when it comes to this specific stereotype, have the common sense to think, oh, wait, duh, this hasn't happened to anyone. And when it has, they usually have reason. Unfortunately, though, like I said before, there is a small handful of individuals. Because they think stereotypes are, re they compare to reality, or they watch too many shows or something like that, they basically pull the stereotype and then believe that stereotype on other people these particular individuals and it's still a small fraction of the people who do this not it's so small it's like 0.0001% of the world which is like what probably 500 out of the 7.1 billion it's not very big and this is just me speculating my point is there's not a large chunk of individuals who actually believe this stereotype to be true in fact, I mostly everyone who I know believes in, who believe in stereotypes being realistic, I've asked them, and pretty much almost all of them have said, no, that's not true, that's bullcrap. But unfortunately, there are some out in the world who do believe this stereotype to be realistic. Shame. If you believe that, shame. Because, once again, like I said before, there usually are reasons behind this. Like, once again... For me, financial reason if it were to happen. Or say someone suffers from, I don't know. Say someone suffers from lifelong paralysis. Like they're still alive, but they can't move because they've been paralyzed permanently for life. It's not like they can hold a job or live on their own most of the time. Some of them find ways around, admittedly, and I know this, but there are a large chunk of them who can't. So, a lot of the time when this kind of thing happens, they end up living in a circumstance like that. But people who believe, as minor as the fraction may be, the people who believe that they're just lazy, or these individuals have no life, or blah, blah, or speculating, oh, they're probably sitting on their rear ends doing this, this, this. You're not thinking straight. If that's what you truly think, then you're just not thinking of what potentially could actually be going on. Now, like I said, it's an extremely small fraction of the world who would actually think this, if any. The only reason I know there are some in the world who actually think this is I've actually overheard. These are people I don't know, by the way. But I go on walks all the time. And through these walks, I've actually overheard people say things like this. I'm like, are you kidding me? How naive and stupid are you? But bear in mind, like I said, these are people I don't know. And I'm not going to hate on people for it, but I do find it stupid that they would just say that without considering possible outward factors. I just find it really dumb. Really, really, really dumb. But I don't know. I'm probably going to end up... Every time we talk about these stereotypes or um, 
like a, a, anything like this, whether it's um, conspiracies or stereotypes, it doesn't matter. It's a heavy topic to talk about every time. It's very risky, but it doesn't change the fact that, I mean, it's still dumb. People don't consider things anymore. And because of that, they're hating on people who don't deserve the hate. But I don't know. To each their own, I guess. I'm probably going to end up venting a lot at the ends of a lot of these stereotypes and a lot of these conspiracies that we talk about. But that's just the reason. It's because people don't consider things. Now, it's a humane thing to do. I understand that. And I will always get that. That doesn't make it okay, though. But either way around, I'm going to be done talking about this particular stereotype. You think I missed anything about it? Um, there are a lot of people who uh, do end up doing this, but usually it's a job on its own. I don't know. Like for example, I, I don't know. For example, me at some point in the future, I guarantee this. At some point, this channel will be a, an official job. I fingers crossed. If the rate we're going, then yeah, it will. But as of right now, it's not. It's it's a job that's not paid. But as of right now, fingers crossed we get to that point. We are very close. And once it does happen, I'm not going to say if, because I do believe it will at some point. Thanks to all of you. Love all 10,000 plus of you. At some point, when we do get to that point, that's just it. It would either be in a basement apartment, because those are really common nowadays too. Or it would be in a individual apartment helping me make finances to afford that apartment in the first place regardless it would be helpful and it would be very it, it would be against that claim that people are lazy when they live in that kind of circumstance it's a good example now i'm using me a lot as examples because i don't want to pull anyone or seem like I'm hating on anyone that's why i'm using me as examples for everything and if i don't have a person if i'm not using me I'm being hypothetical. There are people I know who could be used as examples for this, but I feel like if I did that, it would be attacking them. So I'm not going to do that. Um, <clears throat> but either way around, yeah, that's that pretty much sums up all my thoughts on the stereotype of the person living in their parents' basement. It's stupid that people think the stereotype down to the T is true. And everything I explained in this video should pretty much say why I feel that way. Anyway, I am exhausted. I'm actually going to get some rest since today we are only doing the one video. Tomorrow we should pick back up on the two videos a day thing, hopefully, uh, with... I don't know what the vlog is going to be yet. I don't have something planned out. Uh, we should have something by then. Um... And it should be Chrono Trigger for the second video, the final episode, regardless of how long it is. I have no idea. But we'll figure that out tomorrow when we get there. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in this video. If you have anything to add, let us know in the comments below. If you have a specific stereotype or um, a specific... Um, I keep forgetting the term. I... Uh, I have no idea. Let's fix this problem. Conspiracy. I keep forgetting that word. If you have a specific conspiracy or a specific stereotype you'd like uh, talked about on here, let us know in the comments below. This is the first stereotype in this series, it looks like. Because last the first episode was about Area 51. <laughs> That's kind of humorous, actually. Well, and, 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 anyway... Yeah, if you have an idea for any of that, just let us know in the comments below. We'll get to it when we get to it. Who knows when that might be. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Check out the link on the side of my head over here for any other conspiracies and stereotypes discussed. This doesn't quite float your boat, but somehow you stuck to the end of this. First of all, thank you. It's much appreciated. But second of all, why not click the link on this side? Maybe you'll find something that floats your boat a little bit more. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into the video, guys, and we hope to see you all in another one. Catch you guys later.